Photograph all four sides of the bike box. Ensure a picture of the label with the serial numbers is easy to read. Open the box and remove the small accessory box. This contains the manual, headlight, charger and AC cable, pedals, the handlebar clamp hardware, and the assembly toolkit. The assembly toolkit includes 8 and 10, 13 and 15, and 16 and 18 millimeter wrenches, 3, 4, 5, and 6 millimeter Allen wrenches, and a Phillips and flathead screwdriver. We also recommend using a pair of flat side cutters, a pedal wrench, a bike pump with a pressure gauge, a torque wrench, bicycle grease, and a friend. Have a friend help you remove the front wheel and the bike. Remove the plastic axle guards from the front wheel, being sure not to touch the brake rotor. Set the wheel aside. Remove the packaging material. Use caution to avoid damage to cables or wiring and recycle the packaging material where possible. Rotate the front fork so the handlebar stem points forward and the brake cable runs straight up along the left side of the fork. Loosen the LCD display mount using a 3mm Allen wrench to turn each bolt approximately two full turns counterclockwise. Rotate the display to allow access to the handlebar clamp bolts. Remove the zip tie holding the stem faceplate to the handlebar. Ensure the brake cable is not twisted and place the handlebar and faceplate on the stem. Using the hardware from the small accessory box and a 5mm Allen wrench, loosely install the handlebar. Rotate the bar so the rise is perpendicular to the ground while keeping the handlebar centered. Torque the four bolts to 10 newton meters, going through the bolts in an X pattern. Adjust the display so it is easily visible to the rider and using a three millimeter Allen wrench, tighten securely. At the front of the bike, locate the quick release skewer, which is holding the fork brace in place. Open the lever and remove the thumb nut and cone spring on the opposite side. Remove the quick release skewer, keeping the washer and other cone spring in place on the lever side. Install the skewer from the brake rotor side of the wheel. Reinstall the cone spring. Both cone springs should point in towards the wheel hub. Thread the thumb nut on only a couple of turns, leaving enough room for the fork dropouts. Make sure the lever is open and then carefully begin to lower the fork. Ensure the brake rotor goes into the caliper in between the brake pads and the axle enters the fork dropouts. Ensure the fork dropouts are fully seated on the axle and that the wheel is centered. Tighten the thumb nut until the quick release lever is held in line with the axle. Then use the palm of your hand to close the quick release lever without touching the brake rotor. If installing the front wheel is difficult, use a 5mm Allen wrench to widen the gap between the brake pads by turning the inner pad adjustment counterclockwise a few clicks. Once the wheel is installed, return the inner pad to its original position by using the 5mm Allen wrench to turn the pad adjuster clockwise a few clicks. Before riding, have a certified reputable bike mechanic check that the brake is properly adjusted. Prop the bike on the kickstand. Visually inspect the tire and make sure the bead is evenly seated around the rim. Use a bike pump with a Schrader valve and a pressure gauge to inflate both tires between 18 to 22 psi, depending on rider preference. Apply a small amount of grease to the threaded portion of the pedal axles. Identify the left pedal, as it has grooves on the outside of the pedal's axle. Carefully thread the left pedal onto the left crank, making sure to tighten by turning counterclockwise. The right pedal axle is smooth and it tightens by turning clockwise. Use a pedal wrench to torque both to 35 newton meters. Open the quick release lever by swinging the lever open and outwards to about 180 degrees. Remove the seat post and ensure the clamp opening is centered over the slot in the seat tube. Apply a small amount of grease to the seat post. Insert the seat post so the minimum insertion point is completely inside the seat tube of the frame. Tighten the adjustment nut with the lever halfway closed. When you feel resistance, close the lever fully. Ensure the seat post cannot move or twist. To adjust the seat position forwards or backwards, or to change the angle, use a 6mm Allen wrench to loosen the seat adjustment bolt. Make sure you stay within the marked adjustment range on the rail. Torque to 20 Newton meters. To install the headlight, remove the lock nut, bolt, and two washers from the fork. Insert the bolt through the front washer, light mount, and mounting point. On the back side of the fork, install the rear washer and then the lock nut on the bolt. Align the headlight and use a 5mm Allen wrench and 10mm box wrench to torque to 6 Newton meters. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the headlight. Adjust the light slightly down from horizontal so it will illuminate the ground in front of the bike and does not blind oncoming traffic. Tighten the bolt securely. 
align the notches on the inside of the red 2-pin connector and the small arrows on the outside of the connector and press the two sides together without twisting to fully seat the connection. Read the owner's manual fully. It contains important details related to safety and maintenance that must be understood in order to safely operate the bike. Adjust the brakes, shifter, derailleur, and properly fit the bike to the rider. See the links below for articles and other videos to help you and your local bike mechanic. Test the bike fully and have your work inspected by a certified, reputable local bike mechanic. Ride rad!